There has been lots of confusing news swirling around the Counter-Strike 2 scene uh, lately. Lots of stuff that uh, is kind of contradictory. People are kind of all over the place. But in this video today, we're going to hopefully make sense of it all and give you guys all kinds of new updates about everything that is going on and hopefully help explain to you uh, kind of what the future of Counter-Strike 2 is going to look like, at least for the foreseeable future, at least in the short term. I am Germ. I am a CS2 investor uh, and cash trader. And uh, yeah, today, hopefully, we're going to go over some of the latest news and break all that stuff down. But first, just want to mention my cash trade business real quick. Uh, if you guys are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, you should definitely hit me up over on Twitter. Uh, we're buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. You can see here tons of stuff we've got done lately, you know, guns, knives, gloves, patches, stickers, uh, agents, whatever. Um, so if you need some cash for some IRL stuff or you're looking to switch up your portfolio inventory, whatever, hit me up. We can probably get a deal done. With that being said, let's get right into this video today. So this is some of the news that we heard a long time ago and I hadn't really covered this because it was still an ongoing story. We were still trying to figure it all out. This guy, Neokai. I never really knew who this was, but apparently he's a freelance caster analyst. Apparently he has some ties to the CS2 world. I don't really know. Before I saw this tweet, I honestly don't think I had ever heard of him before, but maybe I'm just outside of the loop. Maybe I'm an idiot. Whatever. Breaking news. I have it on good authority that Danger Zone will not be returning to CS2 for the foreseeable future. Player numbers were not high enough to justify Valve prioritizing working on it. Rip the goat, gone but never forgotten. So a couple of interesting things here. One, obviously take this with a grain of salt. We have no idea if this is real or true or whatever. Does this guy have legit sources? Is he baiting? Um, you know, is rent due and he needs to get that X paycheck? I have no idea, but let's take it for what it's worth. Let's say that this is true. Let's say he does have some kind of connections or maybe it's just even a rumor going on or whatever. Um, we can still talk about it even without, you know, fully 100% believing it or whatever. Uh, he does say that it will not be returning to CS2 for the foreseeable future. That is not mean it is never returning. So at the end where he's like, you know, gone but never forgotten, whatever, it doesn't mean it's necessarily not coming back um, because there have been some things uh, that we've heard, you know, uh, some of the leaks and game files and stuff uh, dating back a long time ago. And we'll get to that in a second where it says, you know, they have been working on this for, for some time or they have made some updates or changes to Danger Zone or whatever. And obviously it was a part of CSGO. So people did expect we would be getting it to CS2 at some point. Now, obviously there's tons more things just in CS2 alone that has priority over getting Danger Zone working. You know, we need to get a working anti-cheat. We need to get a working game. We need to get content for uh, the main game first. You know, the competitive game modes, Premiere needs to get ironed out. So much of that stuff is way, 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 way higher on the totem pole than uh, Danger Zone. You know, that Danger Zone doesn't really matter relative to the other thing. Yeah, Danger Zone is maybe a fun mode to mess around in. And obviously they had some kind of dedicated community and some people did enjoy it, but Obviously, the bread and butter, the, the bread and butter, the money maker, all the stuff that really matters has nothing to do with Danger Zone. CS2 could exist fully in and uh, in and of its own right, and could thrive and be one of the most popular games in the world without Danger Zone. CS:GO would have been fine without Danger Zone. CS2 would potentially be fine without Danger Zone. But also, what is interesting is you know they're saying player numbers weren't high enough to justify Valve prioritizing it, which does make sense. Um, but also, you have to understand how much other things Valve has going on right now. Not only did they just drop recently a very very big content a content update with Dota 2, which I'm sure took a lot of work and all that stuff was very crazy. They also have this new game Deadlock. I don't know if you guys have seen it or heard of it, whatever. But people are starting to stream it and give out passes, whatever. I think I have an alpha pass or something like that. But um, this new like third person shooting game that's apparently competing with Overwatch and that style of game that's coming out. That's a whole brand new thing they're bringing up from the ground up. And it seems like so far people are really liking it. So it seems like they do want to put more time, effort, and resources into it. They also are apparently in the works and development of Half-Life 3. And again, like we said, CS2 still has uh, VACnet 3.0 they're working on. They still have hopefully an operation coming out sometime soon. And then also the Shanghai Major that they need to uh, have go off really, really well in just a couple of months. So really, it wouldn't make any sense to try and fit Danger Zone into all of this. There probably just isn't enough developmental, you know, fire firepower, or brain power, or whatever. Um, but I did think that this was kind of interesting uh, and definitely something to take note of. He does say here to make a, uh, people a little happier. I did hear a rumor that absolutely could be BS. I've heard that a potential new different game mode. From my understanding, it's different to Danger Zone. That's about as much as I've got on that, to be honest. Not sure how true it is. So maybe we will get Danger Zone replaced with something different. Maybe we're getting some other game modes. Who knows? I've heard some people talk about, you know, flying scoutsmen or whatever. I don't know. But then, interestingly enough, to kind of contradict all of this, we did get some updates from Thor, CS2, and Gabe Follower, where they said Danger Zone strings were found in today's update and also in June. The localization string for Steam Rich Presence was updated. My prediction is that we might get Danger Zone implemented in CS2 on its first anniversary, which is September. And then he said, let's hope I don't jinx it for all. But then somebody else said, hey, what happened to the rumor leak two weeks ago that Danger Zone wasn't coming back due to bad player count and Gabe not seeing it uh, and 
Valve, I guess, not seeing it as worth uh, redeveloping. And then he said, who said that from the start of CS2? They're working on Danger Zone in the survival config file. They added loot drops and other stuff. This guy says, yeah, total bullshit, which again, I don't know if I necessarily believe that, whatever. We also got Gabe followers saying, hey, new Danger Zone string in the latest CS2 update. But then we got this guy, Paul Yu, who... Uh, he chimes in and says, this actually isn't a new string. The Steam DB tracker switched to dumping strings from Linux libraries instead of window, uh, Linux binaries instead of Windows binaries. The GCC compiler doesn't pre-compute the hash of the string in compile time, unlike the MSVC one. I don't know what any of this means, by the way. I wouldn't keep your hopes up for Danger Zone. The string dates back many months prior to the update inside the Linux binaries. Uh, nothing new whatsoever. It just appeared in the latest string diff because of the Stream DB tracker platform switch. So, again, Thor, who, you know, does he know anything? Does he not? whatever says the other guy's total bullshit and then this guy comes in and says that hey don't get your homes up for danger zone so now we have multiple people in the like kind of in the know or claiming to be in the know whatever saying don't get your hopes up for danger zone and that nothing new is being worked on behind the scenes uh and then gay follower tends to agree with this it seems like uh because and this guy says damn you're right neo kai which i think is kind of interesting because then gabe follower kind of follows up and says yeah you know danger zone's cooked don't kind of hold your breath type of thing which is interesting uh also this is definitely i think in some ways if you're obviously an investor case investor or whatever good for the danger zone case because some people had speculated hey if we do get danger zone coming out does that mean we're going to get uh danger zone 2 does that mean we're going to new danger zone 2 case which i do think would be bad for the danger zone case especially if they had similar skins or similar golds or whatever because we've now this wouldn't necessarily be the case but we have seen cases in the past you know chroma the chroma cases they kind of compete with each other chroma 1 2 and 3 we've also seen stuff like the prisma case you know kind of compete with, with each other you know if there was no prisma 2 the prisma case would probably be doing a lot better so danger zone case which has been on fire lately i mean we can look at some of these gains this thing is up 30 percent in the past month um but also the unboxing numbers for this thing have absolutely skyrocketed it's one of the most if not the most unboxed uh, rare cases now uh you know danger zone case needs room to run and to fly uh and not getting a new update to danger zone and which would also mean hopefully not a danger zone 2 case anytime soon would be really really good for this danger zone case so i do love uh buying this danger zone case i think i recently picked up like a thousand of these or something like that They've been on fire uh, in the longer, you know, we're not going to get a Danger Zone update. And if Danger Zone cases keep having these amazing unboxing numbers, this ends up being a very, very attractive investment to me. And again, that's why I've been buying it so actively. But again, I wouldn't hold your breath for Danger Zone. Doesn't seem like we're going to be getting it anytime soon. But it was confusing because some people were saying yes, then they're saying no, now they're saying yes, whatever. But it seems like for right now, Valve's putting Danger Zone on the back burner. So I would not expect to get this thing anytime soon. Uh, probably, you know, definitely not 2024, but it seems like maybe not even anything in 2025 either. But it seems like, you know, they're not counting out maybe giving us danger zone in counter strike 2 eventually and then some other kind of random updates going on around the scenes uh thor again chiming in whatever you think about him i don't know he has good takes sometimes he has bad takes sometimes i see him do some really weird stuff good stuff whatever but this is what he had to say he said i saw some tweets mentioning that the cobblestone textures were updated this texture is being used in the Italy map, but it has nothing to do with cobblestone. Maps uh, use textures from different maps. Uh, another texture from the cobble folder that was mentioned, the changes is also used in CS Italy. So, you know, some people were saying, hey, are we going to be getting cobblestone sometime soon? Are we getting the cobblestone winter, winter remake or whatever? Are we going to be getting any uh, kind of bringing cobble back because obviously cobble has a special place in so many people's hearts and they really want it back um but at least from what he's saying it doesn't seem like it um because we did have neo kai saying breaking news i have good authority that cobblestone is currently being worked on by valve for a cs2 updated version with no eta and release yet not exactly sure how much for priority is but i as i understand it's currently an act of reduction happy side whatever so again thor and neo kai kind of going back and forth right here maybe we have a little rivalry in the works i don't really know also some interesting news cs2 might be getting a prop hunt game mode in the latest cs2 update they added the exact glass jug model that was found in counter-strike online's hide and seek game mode uh so i don't know it's just, i mean from the poll that they put out here it does seem like people want to see problem added uh it was a problem in csco's italy it's not new and we're not we aren't getting proper i know it's an old prop but i don't understand why they would have it just re to cs2 also please let me have my prop hunt copium i don't know maybe we're getting some kind of new game modes here soon also interesting update we do have some cases and some clips now of vacnet 3.0 actually uh detecting and banning some cheaters i know some people uh after the vacnet 3.0 news i got a lot of comments like oh i just had a cheater in my game vacnet 3.0 sucks blah blah blah. no vacnet, vacnet 3.0 is not fully live yet it's just being developed it's in select matches it's in some games they are testing it um so i don't know we do see that it is live in some games and is actually um detecting and banning some cheaters so hopefully that means they're making some good strides on the uh anti-cheat updates and then one final thing i did want to talk about is fm 
Pone uh, giving us some new cash pictures. Again, cash is my favorite map of all time. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait for it to be added back to CS2. Uh, but he is giving us some new screenshots and new pictures of what this new cash is going to look like. And I'm getting so hyped. I'm getting so excited. I can't wait for it. Uh, obviously, it seems like we're still decently far from this thing actually getting put out because obviously they're going to do all kinds of testing and making sure it's all good to go and blah, blah, blah. But it seems like we're at least on the right track uh, and getting one of the popular, most popular maps back into the game is going to be a good thing. Uh, and it also could mean some new content or something coming alongside it. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.